Hello and welcome to another InventRight TV show. My name is Andrew Krauss. I co-founded InventRight with Stephen Key over 21 years ago. We've had students in over 65 countries. We coach and mentor inventors to license their products. We are celebrating 50,000 subscribers on our YouTube show. And we're inviting on inventors that have brought their products to market or just want to tell their story. And today we have John DeMarco on, and he's going to talk about his Shape Stretch product, which is a really cool product. Hey, hey John, how you doing, man? Hey, Andrew, how are you? Thanks for having me. Hey, but why don't we just go ahead and watch the video? So um, let's take a look at it right here. Okay, we're back. Um, John, I was telling you this earlier, I, I, I need to stretch a lot more. I got really tight hamstrings and I really need something like this that makes me more comfortable that I'm not gonna hurt myself and I can kind of push my limits just a little bit the way I want to. Um, so I really think this is a, a product that I think will help a lot of people. Well, you know, that was really the goal um, developing this, Andrew. When I, when I started working with InventRight um, a bunch of years ago, uh, my goal was to solve my own problem. As I hit my 40s, um, you wake up, you feel like somebody beat you up with a bat, um, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, being an active dad, um, being a former martial artist, I have a black belt in Taekwondo. So, you know, from the time I was eight years old until the time I was, you know, 22, I was stretching every week, four or five times a week. And then as, you know, life progressed, that slowed down. Um, as I started to feel my body uh, asking me to be more flexible, I started playing around with different designs and I ended up getting some really good feedback from professionals in chiropractic, physical therapy, um, athletic training, coaching. So I went to everybody, all of my local people that I uh, graduated high school with and knew in my town who now were professionals working in these fields and, um, and got their opinions and, and I got a lot of validation. So, so mm. that helped me kind of move the ball and make decisions on, on moving forward. And you're, you're a design teacher at a university, is that correct? Uh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm a, I have a PhD in information studies, um, but my background is uh, communication design. So I've uh, been teaching graphic design and um, digital media for um, over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I do it, like I said, on the university level, I also do it as a trainer. So I train teachers on how to use um, applications like Photoshop and Premiere. Um, and so I'm a creative person by nature. So inventing was something that um, I had never really done with a physical product. I have written, you know, a bunch of books and I've published, um, you know, research articles and, and done lots of websites and, and stuff for other clients, but I had never created a physical product. And you know, with the, um, with the shark tanks and the uh, influx of educational television showing you this and then great companies like yours actually, you know, educating people on how to do this, um, you know, I decided to sign on and it was actually a gift from my wife, the InventRight program to, uh, because I had this invention and she said, you know what, why don't you get a coach? And I had never done that um, because I'm a coach to people, you know. Right, and, you're a teacher. Uh, so yeah. It was hard to kind of give the reins up, but, uh, but I did yeah. that. And, uh, and I had a, you know, a great experience, which now is still continuing four years later. So, you know, but I, now I, you're, you're currently, you didn't license this. You're currently selling it yourself, but you were telling me your, your goal is still to license this. And, um, but people can purchase down below in the link directly from your website right now. Right. Absolutely. So what I did was I had to, um, once I validated the design with, with prototypes, 
I had to validate the manufacturing process. Mm. So what I needed to do was, um, and because I'm an academic, I need to observe everything and I need to take data and I need to kind of understand. So I went to um, a, local, uh, a local shop and I had them produce um, prototypes and then I had them produce a, a short run of, um, of a little over a hundred. So I've been selling those on the website and personally, um, and I have, you know, I have some left. And again, the goal is to kind of get more validation, but we've gotten great response from customers. If you go to the website, you can see pictures of lots of people using this um, because it, it has value. And, and that's one of the reasons that I kind of stayed with it and I, and I worked on it. Um, and then, you know, my design was actually validated by getting a, uh, a patent, um, a design patent, which was just issued. Um, yeah. You know, so now you, you, you had mentioned you reached out to a bunch of companies and, and you weren't able to license it. But I, I had mentioned something to do, which I'm, I'm talking a lot about lately. And I think it's really important um, is that it's not necessarily when a company says no. It's first of all, it's not the company. It's usually an individual. Right. And maybe right. they've got three different projects they're working on. Maybe they're inundated with emails. They actually liked your product, but you never would know it because they're replying, not at this time, not a right match for us because they don't have time to take on another project. So what I said to you, because I can tell you're really passionate about this. I think you made a hundred units, maybe you got like 40 left. Um, I think I might buy one. <laughs> I think I need it desperately. Um, I really need to stretch, man. I sit at this desk too, too long. And you know? just, to, just to add on to that, Andrew, um, I'm an educator, I'm an instructional designer. So we put a lot of time and effort into the design materials. So there's, you know, laminated oh. parts that have all these stretches. If you go yeah. on the website, there's a video for all the stretches. So what we've done is we actually have created a system of 18 stretches that you can do with within oh. five minutes to oh. affect your whole body. And the beauty of the bar is that it's a lot more stable than straps or bands. The only way to stretch better than this is to have a physical therapist stretch you. But you know, this allows you to listen to your body. Right. And it allows you to feel imbalances. And it's um, lightweight. It's under three pounds, but it's- How, much, how much is it on your website right it's, now? It's $99 and we're actually providing free shipping now on it. Um, or we have a pink one. If you like pink, we have pink and white. The pink one's 109. My wife might, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, and it, again, it's made in the USA. I watched them come off the line. Um, you know, and uh, comes with the educational materials and then videos for everything. What do you think if you license this, the a big company, do you think they would get that down to like 49 or 39 or something like that? I've got all the numbers. Oh. So this is based on my run. This is based on cost of goods sold, but I paid a little more because I got it done in the USA and I got it done with, you know, a, a United States welder who's going to sit there and make money, who's going to be doing that by hand to make sure that mm. it's perfect. Right. So, but we actually have the pricing for overseas production and I have the drawings and everything done um, to do that. So when I do find a licensee, I actually, you know, I have, I have those materials and, and I do have the cost where we could sell it at less than, than that number. Okay. But by oh. providing free shipping too, you know, um, you're saving money on it because it is a, it, it is shipped in one piece. So it's, you know, it's a, a volume shipping. So it's a little bit. Right. Cheaper. It's pretty lightweight though, but, but yeah, getting, getting back to the yeah. advice I'm going to give you and the advice that I'm giving the audience is, um, and most inventors would never do this. Like if you reached out to 30 companies, if a company didn't say, we don't like it because of this, which is not the answer you get a lot of the time, right? It's non-specific no's, maybe not a response. I would reach back out to everybody with the, with the testing that you've done and all the testimonials you have and all that, you know, I, I would do another round and push back out again. Mm -hmm. I can tell you're really passionate about it. I can tell you're not burnt out on this product yet. You still really believe in it. Sometimes mm -hmm. when people try to venture a product, they get burnt out on it, you know, because they're like, oh my God, so much work you know, running a business, trying to sell it here and there, but you're just selling it from your website right now. Right. Right, right. Well, actually, we did have it in a, in a store, in oh. a medical supply store, and they were selling it. Um, and then, um, you know, it demand dried up because there's only so much space in the store. And because it's such a new product and it's so innovative, you need either so you need some sort of uh, promotional display 
that takes up a little room to explain yeah. it to you, or you need a dedicated salesperson. Because it's because when you see it, you don't un, you have to understand. Yeah, so it, and it, it could you without you know the video is great you know but without the video sometimes it's like oh I don't know it's just another exercise device which is a pretty common problem for exercise devices you know that's why they have a lot of infomercials for exercise devices right um, yeah but people. I don't know if it's an infomercial product. People want to, well, they want to feel better. So you could sell feeling better, but they want to build muscles and be fit. And I, I don't know, I've never really paid attention, but I don't know if there's a lot of stretching exercise stuff on infomercials or- Well, you know. it's, it's actually a key point because when you build your muscles and you get strong, what you have to do is you have to recover. So stretching is part of recovery. So recovery is when your body now breaks down and there have been, and my website, if you go to my website, we have an area called articles. Those articles, because I'm an academic, I'm not in the health field. I went out and I set up an article database from all articles on stretching from experts. Mm. So there's a full, over a year's worth of articles there that talk about the virtues of stretching, things yeah. like lowering blood pressure. Um, one article, even, you know, in a study in, in British Columbia, they found that stretching was, um, was as effective as walking for, uh, your heart. I think, I think it might be your time, John, because my, my brother is a publishing company and they published a book called supple leopard and it's like this thick and it's an expensive book. I don't know how much it is, but it's, it's beautiful. It's color. They've sold millions of units of that book and it's on stretching. And it's on stretching for people from seniors to professional athletes. So I, I'm just remembering that. Sorry, I didn't think about that before. Right. But that tells me that there's a market for this. Sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, I agree. And that's actually the targets that we have. It's basically athletic folks, working people. You know, my plumber got bought one. Right. You know, because he's bending down and his back hurts. And, you know, but yet, um, you know, a... Uh, you know, somebody that's an attorney that's sitting in a chair all day might need mm -hmm. it, you know? Um, so, and then we've got, we've tested it on folks that were, you know, 60, 70, 80, um, you know, and they've, they found value in it, you know, because it yeah. provides a different experience than you're going to get with any other product. Which well, is yeah. I mean, if you're not that physically adept, you know, it's going to, it's going to keep you safe. And if you, you are, it can help you push just a little bit more with that support. You know, um, I guess if you're like some yoga guru or something, maybe you don't need this thing, but that's not most of us. <laughs> well, what it can do is it can actually get you flexible enough so that you can do yoga. Yeah. Because what yeah. happens is you don't have the flexibility. And what we've done on the chart, um, on the materials, is we actually give you all the stretches. And then we've got dots that are showing you the muscles that are, that are going to be stretched. So it's very easy to follow. It's a very simple approach. And then there's a QR code right there where you hit it. And now you can watch a video uh, of somebody doing the you, stretch. This experience, you, you, we talked earlier, and this experience has been, uh, you know, struggle, but also very good for you. I mean, it, you, you're so excited about it that you've even, you want to teach some of your students how to do this sort of thing now, you said. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what, I'm, what I've done, I mean, I basically... I've kind of went through a four year degree in how to do this because I've been working on it for four years now, nonstop. Um, and when COVID hit and I had more time on my hands, I pushed it even more. You know, I've changed the name. I've, I've actually got a trademark that's going to be issued. It's in publication now. So I'll have a trademark for the name. And, um, but I've learned all of these processes and kind of done them on my own. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I paid a lawyer once to review my utility application. And other than that, it's been, you know, just a draftsman and, you know, paying my students to kind of, you know, work as, uh, you know, to work to do th these types of things. So I plan on taking the experience and then translating it into a course on how to go from uh, concept all the way through ideation into getting some sort of design patent, which is more accessible and, um, you know, financially feasible for folks um, than a utility patent. Um, and it's sometimes you can use the design patent process to, you know, in a lot of cases to kind of reinvent an existing product because you're changing the shape of the configuration, yeah. 
I mean, um, you, you even had some of your students help you out with your website and different things like that. I think it's pretty cool that you want to guide students to do licensing as well. And so what's your goal here? Your goal is, it sounds like you don't want to keep running a business. You don't want to grow a, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're not trying to get into a hundred stores or anything right now. You're still, you're still thinking, correct me if I'm wrong, you're still thinking about doing the licensing path. Um, absolutely. Um, and this, every step that I take and the reason that I continue to do it is number one, it's helping people. Number two, it's providing validation and I've done all of this work and I have this framework. So when I find the, the company that's going to kind of understand this and see the kind of work that I put in, um, I think they're going to know that this is, you know, not a sketch on a napkin. I've kind of come all the way through right. and, and not that a sketch on a napkin is a bad thing, um, but I wanted to continually learn. So each time I had to, you know, I've taken, I've taken courses on stretching, I'm buying books on, you know, learning things that I never learned about from my social science background, um, you know, but it's been great because I've, I've, I've actually, you know, I feel like I've added a whole new like section to my, you know, to my knowledge base. And then, you know, this is just a trend. This to me, this is a product that has given me the opportunity to be in the sandbox so that I understand the steps that I have to go into. So on my next product, um, I won't probably go nearly as far. Right. You don't, you won't, and you won't need to probably. Right. right. Yeah. I'll know the game a little bit better, but you know, you have to kind of learn the game and, and the immersion, you know, it's, it's about the experience rather than the prize. Yeah. Well, that's spoken like a, a true educator. I mean, that's experiential learning is what I like to call it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do at InventRight. So um, that's a, that's a great, very positive story, I think. And you, so you have units right now. So if people, yes click on the link below, you can buy John's product. Um, and I, I encourage you guys to do that. If you got a, a birthday coming up for yourself, for your friends, for your family, um, and they can go to your website, watch the video, take a look at all those testimonials, sell themselves on it if they're not already sold. <laughs> they can go to the, um, there's also a video link that has all of the videos by position. So you know, oh. the unique part is that you can stretch from five different positions. So you can stretch sitting down, you can stretch laying down, you can stretch standing, you can stretch kneeling, and then you could also stretch in lunge positions. Mm -hmm. So no other product really allows you to do that. You can't do that with straps. You can't do that with, you know, with a, with a block or a ball. Um, this allows you, and it's, you know, it's based on geometry. As I'm a designer, it's very well thought out. It's been, you know, it's been, I tried many different configurations and then this was the one for manufacturing as well as uh, usability that has been, you know, that has been really strong. So very cool, John. Thank you for sharing your story and being with us to celebrate 50,000 subscribers. And we want to celebrate our viewers and our students and our fans as well. And so thank you for telling your story. Well, thank you. I'm actually all three. I'm a, stu I'm a student, I'm a viewer, and I'm a fan. I cool. cool. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you know, I appreciate you guys educating people. Um, and just from my experiences, um, you know, I can tell that, uh, that I made the right decision four years ago to kind of invest my time in building my knowledge with, uh, with, with you folks and, uh, you know, and everything that you're providing folks. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, and your belief in your product and your belief in the process is 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 amazing. So so that that's going to serve you well. So I want to remind everybody to take care, keep inventing, and we'll catch you with you next time. See you guys. Bye. There's a great idea in each of us, but it's truly magical to see it come to life. Sharing your creativity with the world has never been easier. We can help.